check, check, test, thank you. Well, good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Good morning. There we are. 
Happy Mother's Day. Welcome to St. Mark's United Church of Christ here in New Albany. It is a big, big, busy Sunday. So welcome to everyone here joining us in person and joining us online. Just a couple of brief announcements. The flowers on the altar uh, and today's bulletin sponsorship are both given by Jane Milton in memory of her mother Louise in remembrance of her on Mother's Day. We have one announcement from the deacons. Our small windows are in. We had an announcement in the visitor. I don't know if everyone saw it, but if you place an order for one of the small stained glass replica windows, they are in and we are set up in the nursery. So stop by after service if you have time, but we'll be here next Sunday also to distribute those or anytime that you're here and someone is able to get into the nursery, we'll give you your order. Thank you. Thank you. Now, one of our very special Traditions here at St. Mark's is when someone has reached their 90th birthday or beyond, we give them a rousing rendition. Sarah gives a rousing rendition of happy birthday. And today we miss him dearly, but today is Ed Gerlitz's birthday. And so we trust that Ed is watching. And even if he's not watching, surely he will hear us all the way up there in Indianapolis. So let us sing happy birthday to our friend Ed. Good morning. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. It's still speaking. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains and justice like the greatest deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O oh God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights, for with you is the fountain of life. Your light we see light.
friends, on this Music Sunday, it is right to begin with a church musician's prayer for our invocation. Let us pray together. God of glory, around whose eternal throne all the heavenly powers offer their ceaseless songs of praise, grant that we may overhear these songs and with our own lips and lives interpret them to all in whose presence we may play or sing, that your church may behold the beauty of God and see with mortal eyes the land that is afar off, where all you pr promises are celebrated and where all you love in every sight and sound is the theme of eternal rejoicing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now join together in our opening hymn, Sing Praise to God Who Reigns Above, hymn number six.
Friends properly inspired, let us share the beautiful peace of Christ with one another.
There's a little wheel, little wheel, little wheel of turning. There's a little wheel, little wheel turning in my heart. There's a little wheel, little wheel, little wheel of turning. Cause the spirit of the Lord is in my heart. There's a little wheel, a little wheel. song, little song, little song, I'm singing, there's a little song, little song, singing in my heart, there's a little song, little song, little song, I'm singing, cause the spirit of the Lord is in my heart, there's a little song, little song, little song, little song, little song I'm singing, there's a little song, 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 Our first scripture reading today is from Isaiah, chapter 12, verses 2 through 6. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, Make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you.
Our second scripture reading is from Romans, chapter 10, verses 9 through 13. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Just get a little closer. There we go. Is that a choir director? Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
On behalf of the music committee, we want to recognize our music staff and the people who lead our music program. And of course, you've seen their, the results of their hard work and their leadership today and all through the church year. So this is just a small token of our appreciation for what they do for us. So, go in the order they are, they are up here. Stuff on my cards back. going to say just a little bit. Sarah, we're so glad to have you back this year, and we are blessed to have your wonderful music. <laughs> we are blessed to have your wonderful musical talents on piano and organ, and in directing United in Song and Sunshine. And Sandy, we're so happy that you are well enough to be with us Thank you. <laughs> this Sunday. Yes. <laughs> We are so grateful that you are doing better and back to playing the piano, and thanks so much for substituting for Sarah last spring and summer. So Emily, you do more than just lead celebrations. You are also involved in all, so many activities, church activities that our teens are doing, and we're very grateful to your dedication to our young people. <laughs> and Carol, leads United in song, she selects the music, she sets up the practices, and she uh, is just wonderful in, in selecting music that uh, the whole group likes to sing, and I think a result of this is that we have even more members in United in, in song, so thank you, Carol. <laughs> and Jean Marie, thank you so much for your leadership of our music program. You've expanded the music activities at our church at St. Mark's, and you've opened the church to the community music events. And so there is a lot going on musically in this church. Thanks so much to you. Thanks to all of our colleagues. And I think a few other people have some presentations to make. We have, we have four graduates this year. We have Roy and Lily Brummett, who are usually here, they're very faithful members, but they have a big sporting event today. We miss them, but we have little goodie bundles for them. Oh, good. And then we also have the two Fricky sisters, Eleanor and Emmeline, one is, is in the third grade, and Emmeline is graduating from the sixth grade this year. Uh, four very, very talented children. I just want to say thank you to them. And we have gifts for the two Fricky girls. If they would come up here, please. Are they here in the sanctuary? Oh, they're upstairs. Oh, we'll hold it down here for after church, OK? Thank you for. Oh, good. Well, They're good, ready. okay, good. She is also a very fine first chair violinist out at Highland Hills. So they're very talented children. We are blessed. This one's for, yes. Thank you, girls, very much. Thank you. Emily and I are going to recognize some of our uh, graduating seniors from high school. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead. Please. All right. So um, involved in the music ministry of the, of the congregation, um, but, but not able to be here today, um, I, want, I do want to recognize Ben Caulfield and um, Autumn Smith, who have both shared their talents with us. Um, and we're very, we're very grateful for that and wish them all the best going forward. 
Um, another instrumentalist um, that I'd like to have come forward is uh, Desiree Beamer. So I have a little something for her. Thank you, Desiree. I'll make this very short. It's interesting being the, the, the uh, daughter of a choir director. Not unsimilar, I'm sure, than being a pastor or a church leader. And not only was I one, but now, of course, I've had multiple and uh, will continue to <laughs> I still have one more. It never ends. Um, but um, this year, we are celebrating Catherine Essex. Catherine, if you'll come up, she is a senior. Um, she's been a part of, of course, youth group and uh, cherub choir, youth choir, and celebration. Um, and just want to say thank you. It's not easy as you are trying to finish high school and do what you need to do and to be here on Sunday evenings and sing during the church service. And it takes a big commitment. So thank you for doing that. I don't have any other presentations to make. I just want to say thanks to everyone in this room for being part of the music ministry. It's wonderful to be at a church where we have so many talented people who are willing to give um, a little extra time to participate in the choirs and to play their instruments. But it's also wonderful to be in a church where everybody loves to sing and everybody has an adventurous spirit in listening to and singing some of the music that we choose. There's a lot of different ways to praise God, and I think that in the course of a year, we probably do just about every single one. So many thanks to you and, and of course, to the music committee and the church staff for supporting our music ministry. Thank you.
Friends, Martin Luther famously said that when you sing, you pray twice. Surely we have been in prayer this morning together. Let us continue that as we bring our hearts together in prayer. I want to call attention, though, as we pray the Lord's Prayer this morning, I'd like us to do one thing a little differently. Instead of pronouncing our amen at the end, we will join with the choir and sing it. So let us gather our hearts together. Merciful and loving God, so often we give you thanks for protection or for healing or for wholeness or all kinds of things in your creative spirit. But today, today we are conscious of all of the mothers, all of those who have mothered us. And so, dear God, we are conscious of how you mother us how you tend to us, how you care for us, how you worry over us and fuss over us, how you find joy in all of the little parts of our lives that the rest of the world ignores. All the ways, gracious God, that you are mother to us. We give you thanks for that on this day. We give you thanks for all of those who have been mothers to us, those who have lifted us up, those who have bandaged our wounds, those that have kissed us and hugged us and reassured us that everything will be all right when our hearts are scared, when we have been frightened. We give you thanks for all who have mothered us, all who have fed us, all who have fed us when we were hungry, all who have fed us as an act of love, all who have cared for us. We give you thanks for all the mothers that have clothed us, have taken us in, have listened to our stories of woe, without judgment, only with caring. So for all of those, dear God, those gifts from you, Mother God, we give you thanks. So here are silent prayers offered up this morning, these things known only to you and to us. is never enough time, Lord. We trust that you have heard all of these prayers just as surely as you hear us as we pray together in one voice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. invitation to generosity. Jesus has appointed us to bear fruit that will last, fruit that will bring love and justice 
joy, and hope. Bring what you can. Together, the gifts we offer can transform lives. Please join me in the prayer of thanksgiving and dedication. Loving God, we remember that one of Christ's most important commandments is loving one another. With these gifts, help us show this love in our words and actions, caring for the vulnerable and offering hope in times of despair. Amen.
we see that I'm not singing. Uh, but at this time, happy Mother's Day to all mothers and the ladies in our church family. And we would like to invite the little ones to come join me up here and our little older kids to join as well as we have a nice presentation to give to each of the ladies in our church. And I'd like to say personally happy Mother's Day to my mom, Betty, back home in Virginia and to, uh, for I was the one that made her a mother. And then also to Heather, who was the one who made me an uncle. So happy Mother's Day. And if the little ones would come and celebrations. And we're going to take these beautiful flowers that are on the window sills and we're going to give to every lady in the church. Can we do that? Okay, let's do that. We'll go that direction. Just hit the window. Come on up. Will go this way? Or go this way? Friends, lest you thought we were too organized and had everything pulled together just so this Sunday, we wanted to have a little exercise in chaos. So thank you for participating. Now, as you are able, let us stand together and commission one another on this beautiful day. Let us go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. 
support the weak, help the afflicted, honor all people, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us remain standing and sing the chorus with us for James Taylor's Shower the People with Love. You can play the game, you can act out the part Though you know it wasn't written for you But tell me how can you stand there with your broken heart Ashamed of playing the fool One thing can lead to another It doesn't take any sacrifice Oh, father and mother, sister and brother, if it feels nice, don't think twice. Yes, shower the people you love with love, show them the way to feel. Things are going to work out fine if you only will. Do as I say, flower. is widely known what you plan to do with your foolish pride when you're all by yourself alone won't you tell somebody that the way you feel you can feel it beginning to ease I think it's true what they say about the squeaky wheel always getting the breeze come on now shout Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, fathers and mothers, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God grant us peace now and forevermore. And now, friends, church is over. Let our service begin. Amen? Amen. Be dismissed. Amen.